Hi, I'm going to show you how to use Calculate, one of the most important functions in Power BI and DAX. You definitely need to learn this function. So quickly, I want to go over to Microsoft and read the definition because it is really complicated in my opinion. Evaluates an expression in a context that is modified by the specified filters. That is <laughs> very difficult to understand. So let me kind of explain. So here's our data. And our data is all here. And maybe if I wanted to look at sessions, but this, if I just look at sessions, it has no context. But if I look at sessions by organic or by the default channel, it gives me another view, another subset another context. I can also see uh, the sessions by date, which would be context to that data. So let's go over it. So what I've put together here is just uh, our sum of sessions by month. And that's the context that we're looking at the data. So I want to use calculate to further filter that data. Let's look at the calculate function. So calculate uses an expression and we have some of sessions here and we can add filters. Now the rules are in this filter section, we can only use number, text, or date. We can't use a measure like a calculated measure. So let's create our first calculate function. I want you to go up to new measures. And we're going to create a filter of sum of sessions with organic visits only. And we're going to calculate the sum of sessions. For, so first calculate sum of sessions Now the first part is done. Now we're going to add a filter of the default channel, which only gives us organic search. I'm going to choose the column. Equals. I'm going to give that a name. I'm just going to call it organic. Hit OK. And then we have our measure here. I'm going to bring that in and boom, we can see that organic search is a very high contributor to the overall traffic. So for here, we have 19,800 and 19,525 of that was actually organic. To make this a little clearer, I'm going to change, change it to a combo chart and put this, our organic, in the line value and then shade it by going to shapes. Okay. So that's one way. Now, what if you wanted to add another fil filter? By adding another filter, you were using the and operator. So what if I wanted to see the sum of sessions that were organic and female? Let's go to our calculation and add another filter. So I'm going to add gender. equals female and let's hit OK and see what happens. Boom, it further filters our data. So now we have organic and female as our subset of data. So let me add female to this. So let's create a a calculation using a number and I'm going to create a calculation where we have sessions that have hits that are lower than let's say 30. So I'm going to create that the same way. We're going to use our calculate. Go to new measures. So we want to calculate the sum of sessions. So we can see for less than, we use a less than 
operator. And I'm going to call this less than 30. Okay, we have that. I'm going to call bring less than 30 in. I'm going to change that to a card. So we don't have any sessions that are less than 30. So let's do less than 50. Now we have 32 sessions that sum of sessions that are less than 30. And if we want to see that compared to the total sessions and bring in sessions and you can see the difference. So the last one I want to do is date. This is one of the most important ways you can use calculate because it allows you to do time intelligence. I'm going to create a new graph, which is the date and the sessions, and I'm going to use a line. All right. And I'm going to break that down to month. Let's get rid of quarter and go to month. Okay. I want to use a calculation that gives me the same period last year, the sum of sessions, the same period last year. So we're going to do this the same way. Go create a new measure, click new measure. Let's call this last year. Calculate sum of sessions. Now I'm going to use a new function that you may not know of called same period last year. And I'm going to use a calendar date and I'm going to close that off. And I'm going to bring that in to this. So now we can see the same period last year. We're going to do another video on how to use calculate with filter all and or operations. I hope that helps. Thank you.